Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of News Dose, where I give you all of the latest news in the game industry, and I hope you enjoyed your holiday. Maybe you got to spend some time with the family and enjoy this festive time of the year, but News Dose is back after a short break from this week, and we've got a few things to go over. Final Fantasy had some good news over the last few days with some success and something very exciting for fans of Final Fantasy VII, so we will talk about that in here in just a moment. Also, Nintendo has continued its dominating holiday, especially over in Japan. I mean, it really is crazy just how successful the Nintendo Switch is doing over there right now. Granted, Nintendo is really doing good worldwide. And then we also have a few other things to talk about, including the Xenosaga Remaster and Bluepoint games, so stay tuned for that as well. But first, let's talk about Final Fantasy. Apparently, this has just been a month where the PlayStation Store leaks news ahead of time because for the second time this month, they have released information just a little bit too soon. Earlier this month, we did see Resident Evil 3 covers leak online ahead of time on the PlayStation Store ahead of the actual announcements during State of Play, but now we got two more. One being a Patapon 2 remaster, which was actually announced way back in 2017. But since that point, we really haven't heard much about it up until these covers leaked on the PlayStation Store just earlier this week. Patapon, of course, was a PlayStation Portable game, and the second one was released in 2009. It is a very interesting game to remaster though, and you may even wonder why they chose this game in particular, but it was one of the more popular PlayStation Portable games, and it was received fairly well with the second game scoring an 81 overall on Metacritic. So, it, I mean, it was a pretty good game. So I think fans of the PlayStation Portable will get some nostalgic feelings when this finally releases on the PlayStation 4, and hey, maybe it can even bring back some new fans to the franchise and possibly spark this old franchise to return for real with a new game. As I said, this is a good game and it may actually surprise a few people. The thing is though, a Final Fantasy VII Remake demo also leaked on the PlayStation Store, and this actually happened right before Christmas, so there was a lot of speculation as to when this demo will release on PlayStation. You have to remember, Final Fantasy VII Remake is releasing in March, so just three short months from this video. So a lot of people were thinking that Square Enix would just shadow drop it on Christmas Day or something like that, but that didn't end up happening, so that does make me wonder when they could possibly do it. Could they possibly reveal this on New Year's Day, or is there going to be another state of play in January? I mean, I do assume they will have to announce at least the Patapon 2 remaster release date fairly soon. I mean, that cover does point at an imminent release date alongside the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. Considering there was a state of play earlier this month, though, I'm a little surprised neither showed up there, but I would expect an announcement rather soon. I would personally think that they will just announce both of these through Twitter maybe, but maybe there will be another state of play in January. Either way, are you excited about these games? Let me know in the comments below. And speaking of Final Fantasy, we did get some good news as well, as Final Fantasy XV has went on to sell 8.9 million copies worldwide, and that is fantastic to hear. That would make Final Fantasy XV the fifth best-selling mainline Final Fantasy game behind, I believe it's 8, 10, 14, and 7. Of course, 14 is an MMO, so whether or not you want to include that or not is up to you, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see it take the fourth spot eventually, but Final Fantasy really is a big time franchise when you look at the numbers, but this is really good news and I think Final Fantasy XV is well deserved. I personally really liked Final Fantasy XV and I know it's one of the more polarizing entries in the franchise, but after its initial release it did get better and better with more and more updates. I do wish that Square Enix wouldn't have cancelled its DLC last year, but nonetheless I really did like Final Fantasy XV a lot. So. Big congrats to the team and Square Enix here. Xenosaga also had some news, though this may not be what fans necessarily want to hear because it was revealed by Katsuhiro Hirata that there was a Xenosaga remaster that progressed to remaster plans, but unfortunately it fell through because it failed in profitable market analysis. I know that isn't going to be the news that fans want to hear, and it truly does appear there will be no remaster for Xenosaga, or at least not in the foreseeable future. 
But on one side of the coin, I do like that Hirata was transparent about this instead of leaving fans up in the air. But I know it's just going to bum a lot of people out. Hey, maybe that can change over time, even if it is doubtful for the time being. In other news, Nintendo has continued its absolutely dominating holidays, especially over in Japan. We actually talked about this earlier in the month, where Nintendo Switch is leading the sales charts over there with little competition at all. Granted, the PlayStation 4 is selling well over there, but when you look at the hardware difference alongside all the software being sold there, it's pretty much all Nintendo, and actually, out of the top 30 games sold there, 27 of them was on the Nintendo Switch. That is crazy to think about, and really goes to show you how successful they've been in Japan. I mean, it does make sense considering how much Japan likes handheld consoles, but 27 out of the top 30 games being on the Nintendo Switch, that is absolutely amazing. The Nintendo Switch did sell 291,000 units through December 16th to the 22nd, and the PlayStation 4 did good too over there, selling 107,000. The biggest game over there right now is Pokemon Sword and Shield, selling 288,000 in this span, which puts it at 2.74 million in Japan alone. Big congrats to Nintendo and Game Freak there. This is just, it's amazing what Nintendo is doing in Japan right now. Now the last thing I want to talk about real quick is Blue Point Games, and they are once again teasing their next game, which by this point all we truly know is it's a PlayStation 5 game. Almost anything else is speculation by this point, and I would usually talk about this more. I mean, I will put up a picture here showing you of this new tease, but I feel like their teases has got a bit out of hand by this point with their riddles and poetry, and I think it is a good strategy. I mean, it gets people hyped and everything about this game, but trying to figure out what they're teasing, I just don't know anymore. This tweet here, though, does seem like they may be announcing it possibly soon, which I would assume will be at the PlayStation event while they're revealing the PlayStation 5. As to when that will be, maybe it'll be January, possibly February, but that's only a guess. As for what this game is, I'm thinking Demon Souls, it could be Legends of Dragoon, or possibly even Metal Gear Solid, but even that is hard to tell. But if you want to try and crack the code and take a guess as to what Blue Point is possibly teasing, let me know what you think it is in the comments below. Anyways though, that's it for this episode, but if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that bell notification and subscribe button. Peace out.